Sorry guys, it's just me again. Um, very short video today, but um, I just decided to make this video for those of you wondering if you should upgrade your your, late, your NVIDIA driver from uh, 512.95 to the latest driver 516.40. Um, I did a breakdown in performance over the four games that have built-in benchmarks. I did it on Windows 10 and then also did it on Windows 11. So uh, for Windows 10, uh, 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 the previous driver, 512.95, uh, the average FPS for Assassin's Creed Odyssey is 56, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is 59, Horizon Zero Dawn um, is, uh, is 80, and Immortals Phoenix Rising is 59 for a combined total FPS of 254. And then on the latest driver, which is 516.40, AC Odyssey average FPS is 56, Shadow of the Tomb Raider average FPS is 59, Horizon Zero Dawn average FPS is 79, Immortals Phoenix Rising the average FPS is 59. Now for a combined total of 253 FPS over the four games. So as you can see, um, the, uh, the previous driver, driver 512.95, it's marginal, but the performance, uh, there's 0.3% better performance on uh, 512.95. So if you, got, uh, if you want a recommendation, I'd say don't even bother upgrading to 516.40. Um, you actually, there's a slight performance decrease. Right, and that, then we're moving on to Windows 11. So, uh, same thing, over the four games that have built in benchmarks. Uh, um, in driver 512.95, uh, AC Odyssey got 50, uh, 56 average FPS for Horizon to Zero Dawn, got an average FPS of 83, and Immortals Phoenix Rising got an average FPS of 51, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider got an average FPS of 59. So for um, 512.95, if you combine all the average FPSs, get 257. And then we move to the new driver, which is 516.40. AC Odyssey got an average FPS of 57. Horizon Zero Dawn got an average FPS of 80. Immortals Phoenix Rising got an average FPS of 60 and Shadow of the Tomb Raider got an average FPS of 59 for a combined FPS total of 256. Yet again, not a massive difference, but uh, the performance sways in favor of 512.95. It's got 0.4% better performance. So yet again, my recommendation is don't even bother upgrading to 516.40. Uh, you're actually going to get a tiny little bit less performance, but not only that, um, when you load this driver, I've actually never experienced this with, this with the driver before, but let me just show you quickly, so when I load this driver and I go to uh, throttle uh, to uh, MSI Afterburner, I have to restart my computer three times, because the frequency of this, oh yeah, it spikes up uh, to the highest limit, and then it drops down to 405. Spikes up to the highest limit and then drops down to 405. So I'd actually recommend just staying on the current driver that you have. Don't bother upgrading to 516 or 40. Um, yeah, there's weird frequency spikes. You have to restart your computer a whole bunch of times to get uh, to get a stable reading on NSO afterburner. And as mentioned, on Windows 11 and Windows 10, 512.95, the performance, not major, but the performance is slightly better. Anyways, guys, that's me for today. If you enjoyed the video, please uh, leave me a like. Um, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. But as always, uh, I'm a new channel. I'm looking to grow. So if you enjoy this type of content, please consider uh, hitting that subscribe button. I do push out content pretty much daily. And I promise it's only going to get better and better. But guys, um, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Peace.